In this updated tutorial, I'm going to fix another error call Gmail recovery same email OTP problem or email verification code sent to the same email or Gmail. Here, it doesn't matter if you get the code or not. Using this updated recovery version, Google allows you to add a new email address. Using that new email address, you can recover your account. So here you can use any Google application. First, to show you the error, I will use my Gmail application. After opening, tap add another account. Then select Google. Now they are checking your info. Sometimes it asks you to enter your bring up it or pattern. Then you can enter your email address that you want to recover. Like this, you have to enter your email ID. After entering, you can tap the next button to go forward. Here it asks you to enter your password. Enter your recent password if you remember. Otherwise, just tap try another way. If you got this window, just tap try another way to go to forward. Then Google offer all two step and other verification method one after another. Here you have to select at least one of these verification method. Like this one, you can use another device as well as if you turn on two-step authentication using another application, you can use that application too. Then if you have some backup code, you can use those backup code too. Then this error can be generated to your phone number method too. So if you try to get the code via SMS, you will get this error too. So here in my case, I can't access my phone number right now. So I will go forward by tapping, try another way to sign you in. Then you can see your all your email address, including your recovery email address and alternative email address. The first one, the email address that I'm going to recover right now. Since I can't get any code to that one, I will use my recovery email ID like this. Then it mentioned the email verification code sent to this email. Sometime you might receive an email, but when it comes the error, they don't send any verification code to your email ID. As well as even though if you receive a code, if you enter that code here, you will get this error call, same OTP problem or email verification code sent to the same email. So in that case, you can't go next. Even if you tap next, you will get the same error message. So I will tap try another way since I can't access any other method, I will just tap try another way to sign you in. Then you will get this error message. So if you got these errors, don't worry. I will show you a simple trick to fix this error. So first you have to close all these applications. Before we jump to the second method, I invite you to make some changes. So if you are using Wi-Fi network, you can connect to the mobile network. So if you are using mobile network, you can switch to the familiar Wi-Fi network. Like that, you can switch between your networks. It's the first method. Then I recommend you to turn on your location permission. Then you can switch to your browser. Here, I recommend you to use a default web browser. It doesn't matter which browser on your mobile. Here, I recommend you to use the default web browser. Then you have to make several changes for this browser too. Now go to App info, you can get this window using setting tool. Then you have to open permission. Here I have turned on only two permission. Here I recommend you to allow all these permission after recovering your account. If you want, you can disallow all them. Then you have to restart your browser. Here you can use any browser if you want. After opening your browser, go to search bar. Then type and search how to recover your Google account or Gmail. Then you have to select the very first search result from Google Help. After selecting, you will be redirected to Google account help window. Now scroll a little bit down until you find forgot your password. Under that, you have to tap this blue color link called recover your Google account. Under account recovery, Enter your email ID like this. Then tap the next button to go forward. Like earlier, 
it asks you to enter your password. You can try out any of your last password. But if you don't remember them, just tap try another way to see your all to step and other verification and recovery method. Here you can use another device as well as you can use authentication application code. Then it will show another bunch of options. Either you can use your backup code. Now you can see phone verification option is available for web version. But if you can't get any code, just tap try another way. Then you can try out using the web version to get a verification code to your recovery or alternative email address. But if you get that same error message, just tap try another way. Now Google asks you how they contact you. Here you can add a new email address. Since we can't get any code to our previous email address to recover email address and alternative email address, Google asks you to enter a new email address under Google support. Here you have to enter a new email address which you can access. After that, tap the next button. Then you have to verify this new email address. Then Google immediately send a one-time verification code to your new email address. Definitely this is going to be work because this is your new email ID. You have to copy this code to the clipboard like this. After that, you have to go back to the previous web page like this. Then you have to paste the code here. Take a long press, tap the paste button. Then your code will be paste. After that, you can tap the next button. Then Google sent a verification link within 48 hours. Normally it says 48 hours, but they will review your account and they will send a recovery link. So after a few hours, you can check your new email ID. Then you can see there is a new email from Google. You can see use this link to sign back in. So you have to tap get started button. Then it will open in another window or in your web browser. Now you can create a new password. Using this new password, you can log back into your account. Using this method, if you couldn't fix your problem, I invite you to watch alternative or other tutorial. You can find those video links in the description or you can click this end screen video and come on over. So see you the next one. Later.